What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Leo and in this video here, we're going to be doing an analysis on Rivion Automotive Incorporated. You've probably heard of this company. It's been uh, making headlines for electric vehicles. The company that's going to take down Tesla or it might be Neo. Let's roll the intro. Let's jump right into it. Jumped into the software here and my stock research tool. And let's jump right into the company metrics and do a comparison real quick. So PE, we really don't have much to compare here, folks, on the five-year side because it is a fairly new company and it's only IPO'd in, oh God, 2021? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to just ignore this five-year category here. And so let's just jump to the PE, negative 338.55. That's a red flag. Negative EPS, return on equity, that's fairly high. We want this to over 15%. EPS is negative, so that's a, not too happy about that. Wow. So negative net, net income, negative free cash flow, and negative return on invested capital. We don't have an Altman Z score or a Piotrowski score. So from uh, what I see here with Rivion, I'm not too impressed with the company metrics. They don't really have much going for them. Granted, they are a fairly new company, so... Our five-year numbers will be skewed because, well, they simply just don't exist yet. With that in mind, let's jump into the financial valuation segment and uh, grade this company. So we're scoring a one out of ten. Um, I'm not a huge supporter of this because I would like to see something within the seven to ten range um, for me to even consider doing a price analysis but for you guys obviously i will go through with that so, so let's take a look so five year p ratio obviously we don't have because the company's is brand new it's ipo in 2021 current ratio is at 5.11 now we want this to be over 1.5 and it is it's well over that but it has me concerned to a certain amount because you have all these assets but it, i really do question if the company is allocating their capital effectively Return on equity average we don't have because once again five the five this whole category is all just uh five year nonsense and we don't have that information debt to equity though we don't have that uh so it's gonna just get a score of zero unfortunately uh the one of the red flags here that's really gonna stand out is share dilution because we are increasing or Rivion is increasing their dilution of shares by twenty two percent um now i gotta see if that eventually reflects b prior to being ipo'd um because if that just happened recently folks that is terrible but it ipo'd at around a hundred dollars and shot up to about 180 and now we're kind of at this it's fallen in half um fairly interesting uh but i would be very wary of this number we want this number to be de decreasing or staying at zero Net income growth, not available. Five-year free cash flow growth. Um, it's negative. I'm trying to invest the capital. We don't have an average because it hasn't been available. It's not available. And revenue growth, zero. So a lot of this information we won't have until they've been on the market for five years. Just fortunately, that's just how the software works. Um, current ratio is the positive in this current scenario and the share dilution is very is the red flag here so it's like a nil nil situation if i had to look at it uh personally i wouldn't take a look at this company because i i i need to see at least three years of it being on the market for me to actually cons somewhat consider it i want to see what they've done anyways with the financial evaluation category out of the way let's jump into a price analysis to determine a fair value for rivion Folks, to be completely blunt, this is just me speculating going forward what I think it might be, but let's see. If I do, t let's do, uh, hold on. Let's do zero, let's do 10, let's do 20. Or 15, I'll do 15, it'll be a little, a little bit more conservative. Profit margin, zero, or let's go five, 10, 15. Every number that I've been putting in here, folks, does not exist. Is it terrible? 
Uh, let's go 12, 14, 16, on 10-year analysis, and do 13% return across the board. I did all positive numbers, guys. I did all positive numbers. I'm just, just making you aware. I did not plan for this at all. My software is saying zero. Basically, it's it's not a it's not a buy right now. I mean, I mean, it, it was pretty much clear as day as soon as I went through this category, and then even just getting through here, I'm not even not even give it the time of day. But I mean, listen, if you're gonna build equity on, or if you're gonna make money on the stock, I would suggest just going to trade it. Like that would make that would make more sense. Either swing or day trade it. I mean, I, usually it has enough volume and stuff like that, and I mean, you probably make your money that way. But if you're actually looking at this company as a long-term investment, that's something that you can, like, you know, hold on to for in the next decade or so. This ain't it, folks. This ain't it. Um, that, but those are my thoughts on Rivian. I would wait uh, five years or so before even revisiting this company to see if they've proven themselves as a cash flowing business and if they have something going on because how the numerics kind of stand now it's not it but if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button drop a comment down below of a company you want to see evaluated and if you enjoyed this software here that i have on my screen here it will be available as an app uh, send me a message if you're interested in uh, getting involved with it. I'd like to hear your thoughts and any way I can improve upon this app. This is something I've actually built myself and I want to take it to the next level. So with that in mind, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.